Welcome to Life as God Intended. Today, we're addressing a fundamental question that many Christians wrestle with. Is the Christian life about trying to be like Jesus? Or is it something deeper? Jesus himself living his life through us. Let's explore what it really means to experience Christ's life within us. I've entitled today's broadcast, Is It About Being Like Jesus? Or Jesus Living in You? For years, Christians have been encouraged to be like Jesus, to strive to imitate His goodness, compassion, and love. But here's a question. Can we truly, by our own efforts, become more like Jesus? Or could there be something even more incredible that God intended for us? Let's think of it this way. Imagine watching a child trying to imitate an Olympic gymnast. No matter how hard they try, their efforts will fall short because they're lacking the ability and training that only the gymnast possesses. In the same way, no matter how hard we try, our human efforts will always fall short of truly living like Jesus. The Christian life isn't about our attempts to copy Jesus or do good works to be like him. It's not about trying to meet a moral standard on our own. The Bible teaches something far more profound. Jesus doesn't just want us to imitate him. He wants to live his life through us. Scripture reveals that only the living, risen Jesus can express his life. He's not calling us to mimic him, but to let him live his life in us. Paul explains this in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10 and 11, saying, The life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Now let's break down what Paul is saying. When you and I surrender our lives to Jesus, we're allowing His Spirit to be active in our hearts, guiding, inspiring, empowering us to live according to His purpose. This is Christ Himself, not just an idea or a moral example for us to follow, but a real dynamic presence, the very presence of Christ himself, in the Spirit of Christ, of course. Imagine trying to live as a representative of Jesus. It would be a bit like putting on a costume, acting out a part, never truly becoming the person you're portraying. That's what happens when we try to act like Jesus on our own strength. But when Christ lives within us, he is no longer a character we try to play. He is alive and active, influencing our choices and changing our hearts, shaping our lives from the inside out. Why then do so many Christians focus on performance? For centuries, people have turned Christianity into a set of rules, a checklist of things to do to please God. 
But that approach misrepresents the true message of the gospel, which is that Jesus rose from the dead to live in us today, not just to inspire us from the past. Let's think about it as a light bulb plugged into a power source. That light doesn't shine because it tries to. It shines because it's connected to the power source. Likewise, we cannot live as God intended through our own human effort alone, but when we are connected in union with Christ, who is our source, his life flows through us naturally as we choose to walk by faith. So the real Christian life isn't about checking off some spiritual task to earn favor with God. It's about being plugged into Christ, allowing his life to flow through us. As Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Paul's words to the Corinthians still resonate today. Do you not recognize that Jesus Christ is in you? 2 Corinthians 13, 5. For many, the answer might be no. We haven't recognized that. But why? Often it's because we've been taught to focus on outward behavior, on our actions, rather than an inward living relationship with Jesus Christ himself. Imagine you've been given a brand new car, but instead of starting the engine, you begin to push it from place to place to get where you want to go. It's exhausting and ineffective. But when you turn on the engine, it moves effortlessly. In the same way, we're not meant to push ourselves toward a Christ-like life. When we let Jesus drive our lives, empowered to live as he intended, we experience the outlived life of Jesus Christ. So what's the difference between being like Jesus and letting Jesus live his life in us. It's the difference between human striving and divine empowerment. Jesus doesn't want us to try harder to follow his example. He desires to express his life through us, transforming us from the inside out. We can't be like Jesus by our own effort. But we can invite him to live through us, which is what God truly intended. If this resonates with you, let's ask ourselves a question. Are you and I ready to stop striving and let Christ be alive in us? Thank you for joining me on Life as God Intended. If today's message touched your heart, I encourage you to subscribe, leave a comment, share this message with someone who might need to hear it. Let's remember that the Christian life is not about what we do for Christ, but what Christ desires to do through us. Until next time, walk in the freedom of his life within you. Or as I like to say, experience life as God intended.